Hey guys, alright. So, starting off where we left off, let's go inside. You know, I don't know if... Would we be able to get... To, yeah, I don't, I don't think there's that many cutscenes. So we might be able to get to the dungeon this episode. Because I believe that's exactly what happens after this. I think. Maybe. Sort of. What? Yeah, okay, I was gonna say, why are you guys there? I almost thought I forgot to do something. <laughs> Alright, uh, might as well check this place out. I don't think there's really much to be, uh, pillaging here. There might be. Oh, oops, that's the one door you can't go. And these places I know don't have anything. So, there's nothing up here. So why did I even come up here? Ah! <sighs> Alright. Uh, what's in here? No. Oh, that was the entrance. Duh! <laughs> I am just starting this up with some fail. Okay. Nothing. And probably nothing. I guess. Oh, no. Oh, wait. There's a couple barrels. Never mind. Mini metal. Okay, that, that was worthwhile. Because if you get enough mini, blah, 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 mini metals, you can actually buy a bunch of really good things. And if you go there, they're blocking the bridge uh, to the saint guy he, he's basically the uh, uh what, what, what do you call him pope yeah he's basically the pope of this place like that's the best analogy i have for this fictional world so i think you have to come down here to the torture room slash jail place and watch this scene i think yes haha -ha. i know what i'm doing that's a shocker. Well done. You managed to cause another brawl at the Simpleton Pub. I hope you're proud of yourself. News travels fast. What a fine intelligence network the Templars have. How much more shame do you intend to bring to our Abbey? You're like a curse. Yes, a filthy curse. If you hadn't been born, we'd all have been spared a lot of misery. Mm. You're nothing but a petty crook with a pretty face. It sickens me to think we share any common blood. What? They're related? I wouldn't have been able to tell. I mean, they're both kind of jerks. <laughs> Enough. Templar Angelo, by order of the captain... You are sentenced to a term of penance. Okay, I guess Angelo's not that bad, but he's still kind of a jerk. I'm hereby stripping you of your right to leave the Abbey. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. He Cross can't me do on that. this, and I'll see to it that you're expelled from the Order. It wouldn't be possible. And don't... You wouldn't be able to make the Abbot do that. Yeah, so apparently there's some bad blood between these two. Alright, so... As we walk out, I, I think we just walk out and... Do something else. What do we do? I don't remember. See, this part always gets me confused because there's so many events you can do here. Oh wait, yeah, I think you have to exit. Or no, I think what you have to do is you have to go out here, and then you have to try and exit, and Angelo will come and try and talk to you. Yeah, yeah, that's what we have to do. Yeah. There might be a couple of pots or barrels out here anyway. Or not. But yeah, see, regarding uh, the entrance, which becomes an issue, because you actually have to get to him. And that's actually what Angelo's going to talk to us about. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I got this right. I do know what I'm doing.
You. You're the people I met at the pub, right? What are you doing here? What? <laughs> what do you Duh. mean, what are we doing here? You told us to come. Now you can take back this stupid ring and we'll be on our way. My ring? Of course. I can still play that card. Listen, I've got a favor to ask. A favor? You're kidding, right? What makes you think we'd want to help you? He's playing the game of houses in, uh... Oh, uh, I just forgot the book name. I knew just this was going to happen. Right. There's no time to argue. Um, what's it called? Can't you feel it? Can't you feel the sinister presence in the abbey? Why can I not remember what it's called? I heard that a jester got into the abbot's residence. I'm convinced he's the source of the sinister air. A jester? You know, in real life, all these people would probably be considered crazy. <laughs> a sinister air makes me think that he's in trouble. Hmm. I don't know what he's planning to do, but I'm sure Abbot Francisco's life is in danger. You've got to help. I need you to get into the Abbot's residence and make sure that he's all right. Sure. Thank you. I'm in your debt. Now listen carefully to what I'm about to tell you. Wheel of Time series. Those are the books that I was trying to talk about. Gosh. I cannot remember. Wheel of Time. Yeah. Alright, now that that's over with, let's continue on with this, uh, the, the, the cutscene. Yeah, that thing. You may have seen them already, but there are some obstinate idiots guarding the bridge to the abbot's residence. You can't Yeah, I just way. kinda said that, Angela. But if you're prepared to go the long way around, there is another way to get there. You have to leave the abbey as if you were going to Simpleton, but turn immediately left along the river. Just follow the river along, keeping the abbey in view. Keep going along the river, and you'll come to a ruin. There's an underground passageway leading from there to the abbot's residence. I'm afraid that's the only way. The entrance to the ruin can be opened with the Templar's ruin. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, there's no time to lose. Okay. I suppose I'll do that for you. And this is another instance where you don't get a team member simply... Like, before the boss. I mean, it's like, we're introduced to them, and we're helping them, but they can't help us. <laughs> I mean, it would be nice to get some experience with them, with the boss, or whatever. Oh, and I, I just kind of spoiled it, but Angelo is going to be on our team. He's the fourth member. Yeah. Um, basically, Angelo is the healer that the hero cannot be. I mean, in the beginning, the hero character is a good healer, but later on, when you get Angelo, he'll be, like, completely outclassed, because that's what Angelo does. He heals, and he, uh, can use a couple weapons that other people can't, but, oh, it's nighttime, that means powerful monsters! Am I even healed? Not really. What now? Really? It hit everybody? Oh well, I'm done with this anyway. Ha ha! Ha! What now, lumps? Lump mages. That's, that's just an interesting name. I don't know why they came up with that. But oh well, this is a cartoony... It's like cartoony and lighthearted, but it also has some darkness to it. Okay. I warn you, avoid that monster up there. They like purposely set a mon one of the more powerful monsters, like the ones that I've talked about before, that you can uh, find in game without a random encounter. They set one in your path to go to the dungeon. And yeah, the old abbey is the dungeon. Ha, <laughs> 69. For some reason, as I've uh, gone through turn-based video games, I've seen the number 69 a lot. Like, when I've been playing Pokemon, that's been my life total a lot. <laughs> Alright, yeah, just avoid him, because you don't really want to take him on. I assume you can beat him, but who cares. 
Ew. That looks a little troublesome. Should probably heal Jessica, but oh well. Now nah, looks like I'm fine. Oh my gosh, 22 damage. Ah. Okay, so maybe we'll get like to the very beginning of the dungeon. That'd be nice. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Um. You know, usually I don't like to heal, and I, I don't know why, but, oh well, I'll heal, and I'll probably be fine throughout most of the dungeon if I just heal with the hero. So yeah, uh, we're not too far away, because if you just keep coming this way, it's not very difficult to miss. Yeah, so, the dungeon is the old abbey, and guess who the boss is? The old abbot. <laughs> I mean, I guess that's not, like, too predictable, but it's like, you know, that's just... I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> but basically, the story goes, like, everyone in the abbey was poisoned and died, and they didn't go to the afterlife. So they made a new one. <laughs> That's strange, because this old one was, like, tucked away, and the other one was, like, up in your face. You have to go through here just to get past. You know? And you would think they would take advantage of the tourism and have shops in an inn, like, right at the base, because people would be going past there all the time. That would actually be smart. But no. Okay, so you have to come up to this and insert Angelo's ring. And somehow, by twisting a ring, it burns all the grass and destroys all the dirt that was previously there. So we can get into the steps down into the abbey. Another thing, why is the entirety of the abbey underground? There's like this really small house and then there's the underground. Ah, so many things don't make sense. Okay. Uh, do we want to start this? Do we? Mm. You know, I'll, I'll just go, like, to the next floor. And then I need to be done. Because otherwise, I'll just want to make this video longer. Okay. Yeah, these are annoying. Creatures in here will constantly poison and curse you. So you want to take them out. Like, quickly. Oh yeah, and they can fizzle you. I forgot about that. But I haven't really used Jessica's spells. I just thought about that. I haven't been using Jessica's offensive spells. I've just been using her as a multiple hit character. Okay, I suppose the damage in here hasn't been too bad. I mean, it's not like 22 damage. Alright, take him out. Do the exact same thing you did last time. Oh. Well, the two people who can actually heal now can't cast spells. Oh well, I already beat him. Blah 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 blah. That's always a nice sound to be hearing. See, they're giving all these skill points to the other characters and not to the hero. You only get like three per time. But oh well, I'm, I'm just gonna, like, push it all into whips. Yeah. And Whiplash, that's an alright spell. I think that's the one where it does uh, even damage all across the board. I think I have a spell like that on the boomerang, too. Okay, you know what? I'm ending this here. I really should, because it's about 15 minutes, and if I continue, I'm going to want to do the whole Ruined Abbey. Okay.
Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.